it's time to take our first look at Windows 11. Not everyone believed me when I said it was going to be called Windows 11, but it's going to be called Windows 11. Microsoft is going to be holding a Windows event here in a little over a week, but a build of Windows 11 has leaked out to the internet and I have played with it and I'm here to give you a first look at Microsoft's quote unquote next generation OS. This is what they're actually calling it. Now I'm gonna roll a video here, but there's a couple things to note. One, this is running in a VM and I probably didn't give it enough resources. So it's a little bit laggy, it's imperfect. Also, this is a leaked build. It was never intended to be seen by the general public. So there's some unpolished edges and we don't know what like realistically how far along this build was. Microsoft is still constantly updating it ahead of this event. And I can tell you guaranteed fact that there are more features and functionality that are not shown in my video that are gonna be coming to Windows 11. So this isn't a complete picture, but it is definitely a first look. So let's dive in to Windows 11. So first things first here, this is running in a small VM on my desktop. I'm just doing this to record the out of box experience, which you can see has been updated. Now Microsoft is using a theme for uh, Windows 11 where things are, feel a little bit softer, if you will. They have rounded edges. You can see some nice blurry drop shadows and other things going on. Now keep in mind that that purple and pink background that you see is actually my desktop wallpaper it has nothing to do with Windows 11. I'm strictly doing this just to show you the out of box experience and it records best in this sort of an arrangement but you can see that Microsoft has updated the first boot sequence experience helping you set up a new device and there's a lot of configuration that can be done now you'll see here that I do not actually connect my device to the internet when I do the actual desktop demo it will be connected so everything you see you see me enter in here is not real please don't try to hack any accounts these are all fake things and fake passwords and they don't actually link to anything I'm just doing this so that I can record it and walk you through the experience of what Windows 11 is going to be like when you do a first run and try to set up a new piece of hardware or just the new OS in general. Again here, nothing too crazy. It really does feel like a modernization of what was in Windows 10. Windows 10 had a more of a blue and black interface. It was very, very bland, uh, especially compared to this. And this is again, uh, modernized, if you will. It's nothing, it's not gonna win any awards for best out of box experience by any means, but it is a significant improvement over what Microsoft had been using in the now older, which is a little bit weird to say if I'm honest, Windows 10. So walking through here, you can see a very similar uh, thinking dialogue as it spins around in a circle. Again, slightly updated and just some more privacy devices or private privacy options, if you will when you get Windows 11 up and running. So just clicking through the interface here, you can see, again, it feels familiar yet different. Now that screen right there is uh, very similar to what is in Windows 10. It, there is a very minor update, which you will see here, getting things ready for you because it's your OS. Uh, but you will see very minor differences here, and then I will jump to the desktop. Like, there it is. There's the blue background, a little blue blobbiness. Makes it just a little bit different than what we had experienced previously. But that is the, the out of box experience update that is coming with Windows 11. As you can see, just not a whole lot has changed, but just enough that it feels new and different, but it's not quite the same. It's, it's different, but the same, if that all makes sense. So this will take just a few minutes, although I will be jumping forward here. So don't turn off your PC or stop the YouTube video, although it would be a great time to hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the bell, do all that good stuff because we got a lot more coming with Microsoft announcing Windows 11 here. So this is the desktop, bada bing, bada boom. Now I do have a theme enabled here, so it's not the what you'll exactly see, but look, that's the new start menu. Look at it, looks like 10X, looks kind of like a mashup, but one thing you'll notice is that the live tiles are gone. Get out of here, live tiles, you are officially done. Windows 8 is gone. You can see it's uh, the start button has been updated. There's an, search is pretty much the same. Uh, not too much is different here, but legacy control panel still sticking around. Can't quite get rid of it yet. It is not gone, at least in this build. Now, a neat feature, look at this. They built Snap directly into the OS, into the uh, maximize button. You click it, and now you can pop and lock things just like you would uh, with the power apps. This is one feature that is really, really nice. I think Microsoft deserves some credit here so far it has been my favorite feature that i've uncovered and it's a lot of it, it's very useful this is like one of those many things that i hope microsoft is building in that are just quite frankly useful now you can go to the all apps here again nothing really changing here it looks basically like the start menu all apps but whatever um, there is a new app here but you will see that it's still using the old ui and and so 
while Microsoft is showing you like some of the new features and functionality, it clearly this application has not been fully updated yet. And so be on the lookout for future changes because that is very clearly the old style of Windows. So we'll get out of that and you can see context menus look pretty similar. Although on the taskbar, you only have one option. So it's a little bit simpler and you can see some of the options here, including look at this, boom, move it to the left. So if you like the left align start menu, fret not, you still have that option. Although you're still gonna be using the new style of start menu. So if you don't like that, maybe things aren't as great. And there are light theme options, although we'll do better options here in a second. And you can see it's a little bit laggy to, to roll this over to the light theme. Um, but light theme is what it rolls with default out of the box. But you can see, hey, if you like burning your pixels and your eyeballs, that is certainly an option you can do. Now, jumping down to themes. Themes seem to be a little bit better implemented here. If you can watch with a quick click, Everything just kind of rolls over to the new theme, new desktop, new, uh, just basically the theme gets applied really, really quickly, which is great and allows you to just jump around. Again, I prefer the, the start menu in the center, which I, I think will take some time for some people to get used to, but I am personally a fan of it. Although I kind of sometimes wish that icon was in the center, but either way it is center aligned. I currently use taskbar X on windows 10 to center my icons, but not so much that uh, the start menu, but you can see again, all of the apps, nothing, nothing really too crazy in this little area, but it does look and feel familiar, but it's also different. And you can see rounded corners throughout the UI, but you also notice that it's not completely throughout the UI. There are still some rough edges or sharp edges, if you will across the UI. Now, again, this is a leaked build. This isn't a final build, so don't get too caught up in things, but there's also these desktop widgets, widgets. You click the widget button and it pops all this information up and allows you to quickly catch up on the news that is either good, bad, or indifferent. And if you try to drag it to your desktop, you are going to get a link. Uh, I wish you could pin these widgets to your desktop, but you can't for now. All you can do is open them and have a little, uh, little scrolly place. Uh, I did move over the trash can for a screenshot that I took earlier, but you can see some new rounded icons there or buttons, I should say, action buttons. And you'll see that kind of peppered throughout the UI as Microsoft puts on those final touches. File Explorer, nothing too crazy here happening going on. And same with the, the notification panel, although you will see the rounded buttons again down there for the quick action items in the bottom right corner. And you'll see some just notifications that I've already fired off or action items that I need to take. Again, nothing all that crazy here, but it's definitely the start. You can feel that Microsoft is making some significant changes. And as I've been saying for a long time, it feels like Windows 10X and Windows 10 kind of merged together and it's different yet the same. Now this isn't some sort of like rejuvenated UI. I think we're still expecting more, including that animation that you just saw right there. See how it kind of, kind of gets swallowed up into the taskbar. Um, it's a nice little animation. You can see getting full screen, you get different animations as well. Uh, just a nice little trim on the OS. Now look up down at the bottom, you'll notice that there's little dots and bars and things that show you which application is open and which one is pre present uh, front on the screen. And then you can see here the quick switcher and also the virtual desktops. And look at that little animation right there. Look, let's do that one again. Look at this little animation. You'll see things just kind of beep and boop and bop around um, if I could do them correctly. But it's a little, it's just polish is what this is. I think is the best way to describe what we are seeing here is just polish on some of the stuff. And it's starting to come together. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, this is not the whole experience. Not the whole experience. There is more to this. But that is a first kind of look at where Windows 11 is headed. Now, the, it, the, the build itself is very much branded Windows 11. I'll just keep this rolling while I am talking. Um, you don't have to agree that Windows 11 is the right name or whatever. It is the name that Microsoft is going to be rolling with when they announce this on June 24th, where they have a big event. There's going to be a lot of other things. There's still things we don't know. We know that there's going to be an updated store experience that is not presently available in this build. We've heard uh, rumors and I, I can confirm some of them that Microsoft is looking to make some substantial changes to the way the store operates, including bringing new types of applications and new content libraries to them, meaning things like, hey, Google could put their apps in there uh, and service them directly without having to go through Microsoft, without having to pay the 30% uh, charge or 15% or whatever they're charging this week. Um, there's a lot of other things that still need to come together, like enterprise customers, experience packs, how to experience packs uh, we believe are going to unlock even more, get this, experiences in Windows 11. This is not, again, the full experience. This is a, a good chunk of it, but there's a lot, that, I shouldn't say a lot more, there's more features to come that are not presently available in this build. 
So while you might be, I think some people were like over expecting like a complete overhaul of the Windows UI. That is definitely not where Microsoft is going. This is a pretty significant update and, and compared to what is in Windows 10, it's a pretty significant change, but compared to um, like a complete overhaul, like we saw between seven and eight, and we all know how that played out. Um, this is definitely not that. I think that's okay. And I think we need to keep our expectations reasonable for what we're going to see between now and what goes on on the 24th. I don't know if any more builds are going to leak or not, but this has definitely been a first look at how Windows 11 has evolved from Windows 10. And overall, I think it's a good direction. It's not a crazy direction. Microsoft is definitely making calculated bets here. This isn't some sort of, um, you know, we need to just reinvent Windows to make Windows last longer. I and mean, Windows has already, I think, outlived some of the shelf life that Microsoft may have expected when they sort of moved away from it many, many years ago. But it's still thriving 1.3 billion monthly active devices. And this is how Microsoft is hoping that the next generation of Windows is going to evolve and keep people locked, not locked, but using the platform. Remember when Satya took over, he said he went to go people from using the Windows to wanting to Windows to choosing Windows or needing Windows or something like that. Uh, but the idea is that people want to pick Windows, right? It's not that they have to because it's the most versatile and open platform, but they want to use it because it's the best productivity OS. It looks the best. It's the most cohesive. And this UI update, I think, is more about cohesion than anything else, although there are a few delighters across the OS. I would love to know what all of you think about this update. Microsoft is definitely taking, uh, you know, pushing in a new direction. I think it's time. Windows 10 has been out uh, for like seven years now, something like that. Five, five, six years, you know, it's definitely lived a life. Um, it, it is, you know, extended what Windows was going to be. It certainly turned things around from when Windows 10 launched to what it is today. I think people don't shy away from Windows anymore, unlike they did with Windows 8. Remember, Windows 8 really pushed people away from, from the desktop Microsoft desktop market. And so Windows 11 is playing it safe as an upgrade over Windows 10 to help make that transition smoother to a new polished and cohesive design experience. That is the one thing that has been lacking in the Windows world. They tried to do Fluent and it just hasn't worked out. It's been very poorly implemented across the entire company. And so now they're moving to Windows 11. So we will see how Microsoft brings it all together in a little over a week here uh, on June 24th. That is when we are going to get the first official look at Windows 11. This has been the first unofficial look at 11. And if you want to hear more details about Windows 11, make sure to keep it subscribed here because the only BS on this channel is me.